Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and jungle survival. Right now, I'm in downtown Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, right in front of the iconic Patronus Towers next to Kuala Lumpur Convention Center. That's right, it's really crowded on this Saturday afternoon, as you can see. I've brought some gear to EDC and I thought I'll share with you my EDC gear for Malaysia. So let's look for a quiet spot and I'll take out my gear and show you what I'm packing. I've moved away from the crowd so I'm going to show you my EDC pocket loadout for Malaysia. When I'm in Malaysia, generally it's more outdoorsy, so I wear cargo pants or shorts and I keep everything in my pockets. Sometimes I do carry pouches, especially if I'm going out at night, but during the day I'll just carry things in my pockets and I've got three main items here that I EDC. The first is my mobile phone, don't really need to talk much about that. And I've got two other pouches, one is my wallet and one is kind of my EDC tool pouch. I'll get to the tool pouch later on. Let's talk about the wallet first. So what I have over here is a uh, kind of a zippered style wallet. It is waterproof and this brand is Sniper. It is actually inspired by a Japanese design but it is locally made in Malaysia. So it's zippered all around and the great thing about this is it's got many different compartments as you can see. So you can kind of divide the items inside in quite an organized way. So right here in the center, I've got all my different cards. So I've got access cards to my property, uh, credit cards, driver's license, and things like that. Uh, over here, I've got some money as well as coins. So that just uh, is kept in this part over here. I've got these magic towels individually wrapped to so add water expands out. And there are two slots over here, so that fits quite well. And over here, I've got a collection of uh, different eye drops. Right uh, in the urban environment, it gets quite dusty, so you know, definitely helps to have some eye drops. Over here, I have my keys, so I have only two keys here in Malaysia, so I just keep it on a really simple chain. Unlike in Singapore, we have a key bar, so this just fits in over here. Uh, here, I have something I carry also in my other EDCs, so I've got a little first aid. Uh, kind of a plastic sleeve with uh, alcohol swab and various bandages just a boo-boo kit and this is the sparrows flex pass it's a door bypass uh, kind of a gadget and this works on really old school doors things that you find on internal doors in schools or offices where you can actually put it between the door and the door jam and you can kind of pull in this case to unlock the door or if you use this side to push depending where the hinges are it doesn't take up much space it's lightweight and it's just a fun thing to carry around never know when you might actually need it and if it'll actually work so that is what i have in this zippered pouch very lightweight goes into my uh, right uh, pocket and uh, water resistance as well keeps everything i need and i don't really you know pack it really full i can afford to put more things inside uh, if i need uh, oftentimes receipts may go in uh, wet wipes may go in as well but this is my basic edc for the wallet the next pouch that I EDC is my tool pouch, which is the Viper 8 VE15. I have done a video on this particular pouch. I think it's a great size for EDC, very pocket friendly, but can carry quite a lot of things. You can check out that video in the link in the card above or the description below. Now here I carry a knife, a light, a pen. I've got this nice Victorinox badge as you can see. So this is actually kind of a collar pin. So it's a pin that goes in with uh, and it's held in place by that end cap, which is actually very well made. <laughs> I can't even take it out easily now. So there's no fear of this really coming out and I think that's a nice touch. Now in Malaysia, their knife laws are very similar to Singapore. They're quite liberal. There's no limitation on blade length or whether you can carry a locking blade. So that's really good. Now, you do need a good reason to carry a knife out in public. If you don't have a good reason and you're caught, then that could be a problem. And that's the same in Singapore as well. And I will be doing a future video on regulations on EDC knives in both countries uh, very soon. Uh, but as such, my knife of choice is this knife. This is the Civivi Altus. Great knife, thumb stud, but one of the best flipping actions for a thumb studs that I've come across. It's Nitro V blade steel, 
very nice size 3 inch blade length and it is a button lock so you can just press that and that drops close it doesn't look too much like a murder death weapon of course if i'm in front of someone i'm not going to flick it out open like that i will do a very slow two-handed open and use it very discreetly if i want to use it uh, and there are people around now it's a it's I would say it's a fair size, it's, it's, it's not too large definitely and it's also not too big and I think uh, if I'm carrying this as part of a toolkit and I do have various reasons for carrying this but even if for whatever reason someone were to stop me and that would almost never happen in the situations that I'm in, uh, it would seem as part of a toolkit so uh, really I don't see much of an issue there. But great knife to carry, very pocket friendly, uh, but very user friendly for all kinds of urban EDC tasks as well. Over here I've got Olight i3T, which is a triple A style battery. And here I've got the small Zebra expandable pen. And really this is an EDC pen, really used uh, when I really need it in not emergencies, but when I might need a pen and I'm not carrying a full size pen with me. And I, honestly, I hardly need to use this now in this digital age. So that's kind of the front of the pouch at the back. Uh, there is this uh, velcro patch for moral patches. I've got two. Uh, this is supposed to be rule nine, but it really looks like a three to me. So rule nine is really a reference to Gibbs rule nine of never leaving home without a knife, and that's from NCIS. Maybe this is from a bootleg TV show. That's why it's rule three. And stay sharp. Uh, this is actually a locally made morale patch, and that is a durian, which is a very spiky fruit. So it's kind of a pun, you know, because durian, so uh, the outside shell is very thorny. It's very sharp, so stay sharp uh, with the knife there, and that's a durian. And over here with the Viper 8 VE15, there is a zippered compartment, and you can actually put quite a bit of things inside. I chose to have this uh, dark green paracord, kind of to match that uh, EDC morale patch as well. And inside I've got a whole bunch of things. I do have a small multi-tool and I do have a Victorinox Rambler. So this is a 58mm Victorinox keychain style knife. And I thought it's important to have a Victorinox knife since I have the Victorinox uh, badge over here. And the Rambler is pretty cool uh, because it's got this main tool. It's got this Phillips head with a bottle cap opener, wire stripper combination. Uh, and this tool is more than what the Classic has. So you do have, of course, the main blade. You do have, in this case, a nail file as well as this flat head screwdriver, also very useful. And you have the pair of scissors right over here. So Rambler, I think, is a great choice for a small you know, EDC keychain Victorinox, if you're looking for one of this size, I think uh, this is much better than the classic. I think for EDC situations, having that screwdriver uh, can be really useful. So that's the Rambler. Inside, I have some zip ties or cable ties wrapped in gaffer's tape. Never know when you might need that. But some gaffer's tape, and this is a small roll. And you can see quite a lot of things are inside the small pouch and it isn't too full in that sense. I have a safety pin and a paper clip, also useful items to hold things together. Got cordage in the form of this Kevlar thread. I'm always fond of these mini glow sticks where you break and uh, you know it glows and this can glow for 12 hours. I always keep this in my different survival kits and EDC kits if I can. Takes up very little space but you never know when you might need that morale booster of having some light. More cordage in the form of paracord, just a small hank over there. And I think, yep, that is about it. So I could stuff in more items once again, but I don't really want to overstuff it. I do not want to have so much uh, weight in my pockets as well. So that's my EDC tool pouch. And here are all the different items that I carry in my EDC pocket loadout. You saw all the items in the wallet. That's all the tool gear from the pouch. And all these fit into three pockets of my pants or my shorts. So it's really convenient and lightweight. We're now in the park at the back of Patronus Towers. I hope you enjoyed checking out my EDC kit for Malaysia and I hope you enjoy the scenes of the city as well. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.